I don't know about you guys, but my bracket is looking pretty suspect. Hello, everyone. My name is Nathan. I am one half of your Heel Brothers. And hopefully everybody's brackets are doing pretty good after the round of 32 matchup. We are finally on to the Sweet 16 starting off this Thursday. We got some great matchups in there. And um, boy, I'm not going to lie. I was banking on some upsets uh, in the last round that very nearly, nearly happened. And uh, it cost me so far in our bracket. So just like the after the round of 64, right after the round of 32, now that it's over, uh, we're going to look at the leaderboards of the Heel Brothers Bracket Challenge with all 10 contestants. We'll see how everybody's doing. And now that ESPN has gotten, or now that we've gotten to the Sweet 16, ESPN's done the super cool, like, projected to win things. We're going to look at that, too. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. And let's hop on over to it. All right, so here we are. The leaderboards have changed quite a lot since the last time that I looked at it with you guys. Um, there has been so many ties for first. There's been people jumping up and down the leaderboards. People are at the bottom of the leaderboards, now at the top. Uh, Paula, who was just crushing it, now she's fallen uh, to the second place. And Eric's gotten back on top. And I have fallen all the way down to fifth right now, uh, which is the lowest I've been in the whole time. So uh, quickly to run down the leaderboards, Eric's at top. He's He's got uh, 490 points. His max is 1370, so I have a feeling it's going to catch up to him. Paula has 480 total points right now with a max of 1640. Ashley, my sister-in-law, has 40, uh, 470 points with uh, uh, 1710 available. Alan, who has got 460 points with 1660 left. Me with 450 with 1450 left uh, or possible. Uh, Ricky over here with 440. Uh, there's a two-way tie here for fifth or sixth, it seems, uh, with Ricky and Dave Palm uh, with 440. And uh, Ricky's got 1720 left remaining, and Dave's got 1680. Uh, Trevor Perkins, who just got obliterated after that Kentucky one, uh, really hurt him with 430 left with 1110 uh, available to get. And Tory, my buddy Tory, all the way down there at ninth with 410 points. Uh, 1530 left, and then Michael Allen down there at the bottom with 370 total so far, um, with 1410 remaining. So, you guys can see there's been some uh, a little bit of uh, separation here from Eric and Paula there uh, outside of everybody else. And it was, it was, it got all the way up to a six way tie for first. I don't remember exactly what it was last week. I think we were in the tie uh, when we did after the round of uh, 64, but. Uh, you know, I'm going to start it off and look at my bracket. I'm going to look at a couple different brackets here um, and see how everybody's doing. I'm going to look at everybody's. We don't have much time to do it, but I'm um, going to look at this really quickly. Let's start with mine. Um, my big upset that did not happen this week was this one. I picked the Texas A&M upset over Houston, and by God, it got so close to happening. Um, I was kind of, I was sitting back chilling out playing a game with a friend, and I was keeping an eye on the game, and I saw they were up. Like, Houston was up with, like, 10 minutes left, or not even 10 minutes. Though. I think it was, like, a minute and some change left. And I said, like, well, that game's over with. The next thing I know, I'm getting the ESP notification to say it was going into overtime. So I was flipping out, getting real excited, thinking, like, oh, my God. Like, you know, I am, like, they're, they're actually going to do it. Like, they're, 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 they're going to beat them. And, man, they came so close. But I guess the moment just got too big for them. But. Uh, Duke ended up beating James Madison, which I, I had Wisconsin beating Duke or, or, or Duke beating Wisconsin. I'm sorry. Um, obviously, Wisconsin didn't make it. James Madison did, but Duke did get that win. So I did get that. But um, this is where I had uh, Kentucky over Texas Tech. Obviously, that game did not happen. And I really thought that Oakland was going to knock off NC State. I was super pulling for it. Um, I did have Marquette losing in this round, another upset that I was looking for. And Colorado almost got me that that pick right. Um, I'm curious to see how Marquette does in the next run against NC State. But uh, I got really close on that on that Marquette beat. It just didn't happen. Uh, everything, I believe, in the east side worked out the way I thought it would. Um, I obviously, I had Auburn coming down here. But I, I, I you know, had UConn winning. I still have UConn. I got UConn going all the way to the Final Four. And then um, Illinois and, uh, and Iowa State, I got those two. Um, I, I figured that they would probably win because I just think they're playing really good basketball right now, and they just keep doing their thing, man. And then uh, Carolina with the big win over Michigan State, tough at first. I, you know, I, I was doing the watch party with you guys. You saw that. And uh, we'll probably do a watch party for the uh, Alabama game as well. But I did have Alabama and Carolina meeting there in um, 
in in the Sweet 16. Now, this is the game I wasn't expecting. So, you know, originally I didn't pick Clemson to beat New Mexico. Everybody was talking about New Mexico, and, you know, I, I was expecting for, you know, New Mexico to win that game. Clemson went out there and dog-walked them. And then I had Baylor winning this game, and Clemson come out. And Clemson's on a roll, man. The ACC is evidently a little bit better at basketball than people will give us credit for, it would seem, because you've got Clemson, you've got NC State, you've got North Carolina, and you've got Duke all sitting in the Sweet 16 as we speak right now. It's amazing. It's it's cool to see, and hopefully people will put some respect back on the ACC's name when it comes to basketball and realize, that, hey, like this, this is the place to be for basketball. But I did have Arizona beating Dayton, and I'm not going to lie, man, with this matchup going into the next round, now I had Arizona winning. And I, you know, I have that picked here. But I don't know. Clemson has a chance to get them. They have a chance. To, they're just, they're just a team that's gotten hot, and they're rocking and they're rolling. And you got to keep an eye on them. But I don't know, man. That, that, that one's going to be close there. And uh, I thought Oregon could beat Creighton. I really did. Now I have Creighton picked here, but I really did think Oregon was probably going to get Creighton there. Just kind of looking at it, and um, you know, they it, it got close there for a little bit, but. Yeah, or uh, Creighton ended up separating themselves pretty good. And then I did have Tennessee beating Texas. Uh, I did get the Gonzaga win uh, over over Kansas. I had a figured I figured that was going to happen just purely based off of injury. Uh, Gonzaga really hasn't been a good ball club all year, but um, I figured with them, um, you know, being at, at full strength, Kansas not probably would help them. And then Purdue with a route over Utah State. So really my biggest my biggest hitters were uh Texas AM losing and well this whole this whole side right here is completely screwed for me. Like the bottom side of the South is so screwed. And then Marquette losing. I had that upset. Um Baylor losing to Clemson and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for me. So that was my biggest hitters, and that's what really dropped me down the leaderboards uh, there. So maybe I can pick up some points here in this round uh, as well. But what's going to hurt me is like this side right here. This this bottom side of the South is so screwed for me. Um, I just gotta, you know, I gotta get I gotta hit Houston to beat Duke. So that's going to be an interesting game. I'm not going to lie. Um, that'll kind of save me a little bit more in that South bracket. So let's back up a little bit. And let's go back to the back of the leaderboard. Another person I want to look at right here is I want to look at my sister-in-law's because, by God, man, she's been doing good. And I think Alan helped her out just a smidge, like just a little bit. But I don't know, you know, what pick she made for herself. So let's go on her round of 32. The one that she got wrong, she did have um, Auburn here, just like I did. But she she picked uh, Auburn to beat San Diego State. San Diego State got that one. Um Let's see here. Got Illinois right. Got Iowa State right. Um, North Carolina got Alabama. She also had Baylor. Now she had Clemson in the round of 32. Uh, I did not, but she had Baylor beating Clemson. I think the majority of everybody had Baylor beating Clemson or New Mexico, whoever came into that bracket, just because I don't think anybody was expecting Clemson to be there. But she got Arizona right. She got Tennessee right. Got Creighton right. Um, picked Gonzaga over Kansas. Got the Purdue game. And she also had Florida beating Marquette. So her south, her bottom side of the south is looking pretty similar to mine here uh, because she also picked Kentucky to make it to, was it the Final Four? I'm pretty sure that was the Final Four. No, 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 no. Sorry, the Elite Eight. I apologize. Uh, to at least make it down there to the Elite Eight and then losing to, uh, to Houston. Okay, I see that there. So her south side's looking a little bit similar to mine. And... Up there, she got she got the Duke game, and she picked Houston to beat Texas A and M. So, not too much difference for me, but she she did have a couple in there uh, that looked pretty good. And she was one that was down there towards the bottom of the leaderboards, uh, you know, after last week, and now she's jumped up here a little bit. And a person who's made kind of a resurgence a little bit is um, uh, Alan as well. Alan, same thing. Let's look at him. Let, let's take a look at him. So the the Husband wife duo here is looking pretty good. I think solidified at third and fourth right now, but I have a chance to really like move up into like the first and second place here. So let's see that Alan had it. He had he had UConn winning. He had Auburn beating San Diego State. And I think I think everybody kind of figured that was going to be the case. But um 
got that one. He got Illinois right, Iowa State right. He got Carolina, Alabama. He also had Baylor beating Clemson. Uh, he had Arizona. He had Tennessee. He did have Creighton. He actually had Kansas beating Gonzaga. Oh, wow. Oh, well, okay. I think he was – I don't know what – and maybe maybe he was just thinking that they would just get him just because Gonzaga hasn't been good. I, I don't know what, but I believe that's the case. Um, he did pick Marquette to win um, over Colorado, and that's really – that's a big one for him. He got the Colorado pick. So that was the pick that he changed. You remember we did the video. He was talking about his picks, and he had picked – that, that was before the Colorado-Boise State, I believe it was, game was decided. And he picked Florida and to win that game in the original um, video there. So he, he changed that once he found out Colorado was there. So that was when we actually filled out our rackets on, on the app here. Um, this side of for him, same thing, I think, as everybody, like with NC State and Oakland. And everybody picked Kentucky to win that game and Texas Tech, I believe. Few people that I know have picked NC State to win that game. Uh, but then you had he got the Duke game right and Houston right, so um, it's just, it's crazy how just a couple of games, one maybe two games, can separate you from the rest of the pack a little bit, and that's what I'm seeing. So the next thing I want to do here is this is something I've been waiting for, and I've been waiting to see how this thing does. But it's called the group forecast here in the ESPN Tournament Challenge app. You go here, and it gives your per, like your percentage to win. So. This is what's crazy. So let's look at the leaderboards a little bit. Let, let's let's look at the Houston. Who, who's Houston? Who is who is Houston right now? Let's go to my brackets. Um, actually, let's back up, back up a couple here. So we we can go to the there we go. Houston. Oh, it could be. So what is that? David. I think it's David. Pretty sure that's David there. That's got. That's got that. So let's look at this. Here we go. So yeah, it's David. David has the best chance to win a 44.4% chance to win. Now, it shows the best path for them to win. So, for the best path for David to win, it's going to be UConn not, uh, to not win it at all, uh, UNC to not win it all, and Purdue to not reach the national championship. That is the best chance for him to win. Also, you add in the Houston championship there, that would, that would solidify him up. And... Um, let's see, is this, let me see, is this, um, I want to double check and make sure hat four, who the heck is hat four? I'm trying to make sure I know who everybody is here. Uh, oh, it's Ricky. Okay. So Ricky, Ricky's got the best chance of 17.3% chance and his best path to win is UConn not to win at all. And North Carolina not to win at all. That hurts, man, because everybody's just picking against my guys. And then this is Paula with a 14% chance to win here. With Houston not to win at all, Iowa State to not reach the national championship. So I got to wonder what her bracket looks like, and UNC not to reach the national championship. So I, I'm going to look at hers really quickly. Okay, so here's her bracket here, and I want to go to the Iowa State thing. So she's got Iowa State beating. Okay, 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 okay. So she's got uh, Iowa State beating Illinois in the Sweet 16, and then going on losing to UConn. So that that's how her that's how hers breaks down like that i get that now that makes more sense um let's go back here and look at so that's our top three so if if, if it ended right now um but or the way it's looking that these could potentially be our top three winners here so these could be the ones that end up winning that prize so this is what i mean right now it looks like um uh what's who's this again David looks like David's looking pretty dang good right now. You see me, I got a 1.5% chance. I'm not looking too high right now. Um, you know, a lot of these max points are up there. And I guess the ones I'm surprised the most about, um, Alan, Alan here has, he's right there at fourth with a, his best pass to win is UConn to reach the national championship and Purdue to not reach the national championship. And I like the overall likelihood at the brackets finishing position within the group. Uh, top three, top five. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I see what they're saying there. Seeing percentages to win and where it will play. So here's Eric, not too, not, not falling too far behind. So UConn did not win at all, North Carolina did not win at all, and Arizona did not win at all. It's so basically Purdue won the championship. Basically, is what they're saying there, and that's kind of where, like, my I think my best chance to win right here is Purdue to reach the Elite Eight, Purdue to not win at all, UConn to not reach the national championship. So basically, for North Carolina to win. And everything else fall like I have it there, and that's by that's about my best chance there. 
and uh, Tory all the way down there at the bottom with 1.4% chance. He's at the bottom, and I'm right there behind him, man. So uh, it's it's cool to see how this thing's breaking down, guys. I am absolutely freaking loving this to death. You know, like I said, each after each round, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to do updates and see how this thing goes. Right now, we see our top three likely winners there in uh, David and Paula and Eric. It seems so. You know, curious to see how this thing breaks down. Could they be the top three at the very end of it? Right now, it looks like a, a pretty solid chance, at least for for David up there at the top. So, um, curious to see how this thing is going, man. But I absolutely love it, and hopefully, you guys are enjoying these little update videos and. You know, we'll do more stuff like this in the future, and we'll also do you know things like this to 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 incorporate everybody in it. That way, everybody can be a part of the videos and everything else, man. It's it's just fun, and it's a good way to give back. And uh, we absolutely love doing this, you guys. But uh, anyway, hopefully everybody's bracket does all right in the next round. I'm curious to see how this thing's going. Really excited to see that North Carolina Alabama matchup, and uh, I think it's gonna be fun. But thank you all for watching, man. We want to thank you all for being here. If you're new to the channel and you, and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hang out with us as we talk everything to our hill and, uh, and just to enjoy the madness together. Man. We absolutely love it. So uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. Go Hills. You don't want none.